It looks like that's it for ease of use stuff. We are starting off with the. We only have $4 million. I just want you guys to know we had $6.5 million when we started this, and we're at $4.8 million. And we, we literally have done nothing at all. Like, we, we researched three things, and two of them aren't even done yet. Hey guys, it's Jen, and welcome to Computer Tycoon. So, this game was just recently released on Steam, and it's pretty much a Steve Jobs simulator. So, in Computer Tycoon, you are a person who makes computers. You go against competitors, and you try to make the best technology possible, sell the most, become the best company in the world, and win the game, pretty much. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I like how the mouse is a hand holding a mouse. This is blowing my mind right now. Alright, player name, next gen... <laughs> next, next gen jobs. Company name, N Gen Tech. I've been thinking about this one since I was at work, I like that name. Alright, so, uh, so we get a bonus. What would you like to be cheaper for you? Scientists, factory workers, or commercial expansion on the map? Ooh. I feel like... Production, if you put it in the right spot, doesn't matter if this is like real life, you can just get everything from, from like China or some foreign country, and everything's cheaper over there, so I don't think, uh, you know, cheaper production is gonna help much. But... Scientists. I didn't know they had scientists for computers. I guess it's called computer science, Jen. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Forget that. Research is probably going to be the best one. And then I want purple. And difficulty, we're going to go with normal. Random events. Can you tell me what random events means? Sure, we'll do with random events. Apparently not. No random events. Can we pick a different character? Maybe I don't want to be like Steve Jobs. All right, so there's that person. Oh, gosh, there's so many options. You know what? I'll just go with the classic character. There's too many options. I'm just going to just give me what you got, bro. That's it. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm ready. I'm ready to be the new Apple. The new Steve Jobs of next- of- not, not next gen tech, that's not- End gen tech is going places, boys. We're gonna be rich, millionaires, billionaires! Hi, mate! This is random mode, where all of the current post-Soviet countries exist in the 70s. So all of you can enjoy your own countries in this mode, not like in historical mode. Hi, mate! This is the random mode, where all of the current post-Soviet hair, if you do not stop, countries exist in the 70s. So all of you can enjoy your own countries in this mode, not like in the historical mode. And every country has algorithmically generated population and economical data. That increases replayability. Solid. So you can play this multiple times and not get bored of it. Start slowly. Don't build and expand too fast and always have savings or you will go bankrupt after one year having a negative balance. My recommendation is read the tooltips above the GUI and the question marks. Buy two countries. We're gonna buy two entire countries? I didn't know making phones give you that kind of power. Alright, but build your first site in a poor or average country. Create a new computer model, fill it with hardware, start selling, build a factory and launch the time. Expand slowly, keep it in mind that you can have seven building sites. After that, it's up to you. Good luck. Alright, so it says build your first site in a poor or average country. I'm not sure what's poor or average for this game, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. How's Madagascar looking? Wealth average. Oh, that's what it means by uh, poor or average country. Alright, dominant company, no opponent, 4 million people, starting cost 600, how much money do we have? Where's our money for this? It costs 600,000, I want to know if I have, oh, I have 7 point five million dollars six hundred thousand is pocket change bro i spend that much on lunch it looks like madagascar is actually pretty good there's no opponents i'm not sure what this means what, what, what does preference mean how people choose their next computer for color explanation using the icon above all right ease of use so they'd rather have something really simple than anything else cool so we can stick with that that means that um if we target the ease of use then we can be insane. We can just own Madagascar. We'd buy Madagascar out of pocket. Like, we'd carry enough cash to do it. How's Chile looking? Chile is too... Alright, how's Brazil looking, actually? Poor? 12 million to start off, though. Hmm. I think it's a little, little over the budget. Oh, but look at South Africa. They'd rather have a lot of features. It costs $3.6 million to start there. But it's dominated by everyone who wanted features, so... I don't... Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what was that? That was a green chart. Angola. One... Only a million dollars to start off with. Wait, no, wait. That, that wasn't it. Where is it? This one. 450,000 to start there. No competitor. And all they want is ease of use. In in Zambia? Zambia? Not sure to pronounce it. I'm sorry for those of you that... 
are from there. The issue is because of the uh, the poor wealth, I'm not sure if anybody can buy it. Like how this game is about making computers, but they make it so like in depth. Like you actually have to pick a country based on its status before just building things. It's not like game dev tycoon. How's Cuba doing? All right, not going to Cuba. Haiti is kind of poor. Puerto Rico is 73,000 people. That's not enough to sell. It'd be free to start there, though. Puerto Rico, you don't have to pay a dime. But yeah, it's not like um, like Game Dev Tycoon, where you just release a game and then let it be. I, I, I probably shouldn't be comparing the two, but it just reminds me the most about Game Dev Tycoon because they're both about creating things that have to do with computers. I don't know. That, that's probably a horrible comparison, but either way, I like how in-depth this is. Like, I'm spending a lot of time just looking around here. I think Madagascar is definitely the place to go. Actually, wait a second. Ukraine is looking really good. Ease of use. And it's the same cost, average wealth, average wealth. And who has more people? Madagascar has like 100,000 more people. I'm gonna go with uh, Ukraine. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ukraine. And there's no opponent there either. So I can just focus on ease of use and be done with it. Let's go ahead and buy Ukraine. All right, so I did buy Ukraine. I'm not, it has two options here. What does this do? I'm not sure what that does. What does this button do? Will you establish here an industrial site in Ukraine? Oh! So this is where we start building phones. So we own Ukraine. We don't own all of Ukraine, obviously, but like... We can sell stuff in Ukraine now. But we can put... An industrial site somewhere else. How much does China cost? Way over budget. Not even, shouldn't even bother looking there, huh? I think logistic price, the higher the logistic price, like right now it's 2.0 for, um... Myanmar? Not sure to pronounce that, but I think the higher that is, the um the cheaper it is to produce stuff there. I I imagine. All right, that's enough of messing around in this menu. All right, I want to establish. Yes. Okay, here we go. Office, factory, uh, laboratory, marketing, logistics, and recreation. All right, and we can like skip through here if we own multiple sites. What's going on down there? All right, so how do I full view? No? Office. Oh, alright. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. They just threw me in there like a... Like, you, you guys ever learn how to ride a bike? Your dad's pushing you on the bike and then just lets go. You don't know what's going on, but you're, you're doing it. Kind of. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade. Can we upgrade? Can we upgrade? We cannot upgrade. Solid. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, it's working. Alright, so can we, uh... We have to do all of these pretty much. Let's go ahead and place all that down. Laboratory, phone, now is not the time to be lighting up. We need the market, logistics, and recreation. Just place down everything, bro. It did say don't expand too fast, but it's too late now. <laughs> we already pressed everything. Press every single button that we could. Is that a coffee shop? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't think a coffee shop is essential. Alright, well, whatever. It's too late now. Full view. See what we got up here? Oh, that is beautiful. That is... Is, is this how Steve Jobs felt? Empty. All right, I said that my research machine is empty. So, gotta find out how to research stuff. Research. All right. So, the country we're in, we're in Ukraine. They like ease of use. All right, so we gotta make this as simple as possible. Like, we have to make it... We have to make it... Oh, wait, there's an option just for ease of use. I was gonna go into, like, this entire speech of ease of use, but never mind. There's a little tab right here that tell you, uh, what you need. So, ease of use. Opcode system. No icons, no characters, no keyboard, or even no display. Huh. Switches, man. So, they just put a bunch of switches there. The user toggles the switches to positions corresponding to the desired microprocessor instruction or opcode in binary, then uses the deposit next switch to load that instruction into the next address of the machine's memory. And department budget 100 daily cost, and how much? It costs 60 to do that? Alright, how do I research that? How do I... done? Am I doing that? Am I doing it now? New? What? I don't know what I did. Solid. It'd be great if they told you what you needed to do, because I'm trying to, like, I want to research stuff, but... Done? Alright, here's more ease of use. Follow the white rabbit. Knock, knock, Neo. Command line. 
command line, user interface, CLI, also known as the console user interface, and character user interface, CUI, is a means of interacting with a computer program where the user or client issues commands to the program in form of successive lines of text, command lines, a program which handles the interface is called a command language interpreter or shell. Solid, learning a lot about computers, but I'm not learning how to play this game. Keyboard is pretty easy of use, will. I want to make a phone though, how do I make phones, cellular device, the thing that you use to talk to your grandpa or grandma when you want them to bake you cookies. This game is so confusing, I have no idea what's going on. Like, can you tell me what I need to do, my, I'm 19 years old starting my own company? Maybe that's the issue, I'm literally younger in the game than I am in real life. Billboard, I can advertise product, no I want to advertise uh, my ease of use. I can't even, I'm not even gonna advertise my ease of use. I don't even have a product to advertise. I'm not gonna pretend to have something. Oh, this thing is great. You guys look at this, you wanna see this? You can't even see, that's how easy it is to use it. You just think of it and it happens. All right, I'm getting a little too violent now, Jen. Calm down, you just gotta figure out how to do this. Factory. Am I researching anything right now? We have hardware, we have computers. We can like, tick what kind of computers we want. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, all right, so we can choose a uh, design, home computer, and memory, do we have any memory for that? Nope, what, hello? What is all of this? All right, we need an operating system, obviously. Um, feature, I don't know what's going on. Ease of use is gonna be, uh, you can boost your element, be aware that the char or the change isn't linear on the price side. Compared to the current 100, negative 100. Industry standards, solid. Not even gonna bother making this then. I wanna make a computer, I wanna make something cool. Something hip. Something all the, f the freaking fancy kids would like. Oh, wait a second. Do we have to make the hardware first and then the computer? That makes more sense actually. Cause we can't make a computer without hardware. So what do we need to make a computer real quick? Let's see, what do we got here? Home computer, we need accessories. Uh, don't even bother Jen. We need memory, CPU, we can set the price for things, but we can't even, we gotta actually make it work first. <laughs> Alright, so first thing is first, we have to make um, an operating system. I guess we have to make it the CPU first, but we're focusing on ease of use, so who cares about operating systems. Alright, operating system, we have to make it really, really ease of use. Take the op code system. Oh, okay, so we research things, and then we apply it to our new hardware. Okay, so it's really bad when it comes to ease of use and the features are somewhat okay. And if I lower this, I can increase that. Feature is terrible. Um, and that costs more up front to actually make it and the manufacturing price goes up as well. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get an idea of how you play this game. I like it, I like it so far. All right, <laughs> now that I know what I'm doing, I can make it so that to pay me? They'll pay me to make the prototype? <laughs> That's something. That is something. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it to, uh... We have to make it really ease of use. But I don't want to make it so... Can we add more things to this than just... Um, the opcode system? I'm gonna go ahead and just research some more things first. Because we have to make the, uh, the operating system really, really, really spiffy. Oh, okay, so if I add it, if I press, uh, if I click done, I think, or up... New? Yeah, if I click new, and I click add, it starts researching it. Oh, okay, so we need to make it, we need more ease of use things. Alright, let's go ahead and add a keyboard to that. And, it looks like that's it for ease of use stuff. We are starting off with the, we only have $4 million. I just want you guys to know we had $6.5 million when we started this, and we're at $4.8 million. And we, we literally have done nothing at all. Like, we, we researched three things, and two of them aren't even done yet. I'm not sure why I'm bothering with so much of a department budget for all of these when they're not even being made yet. Like, the, the um, what is it called? The, uh, the factory? Wait a second. I can't research without any budget in the laboratory. Wait a second. Which, which building is it? Yeah, so, right now I'm gonna put every single piece of dollar, every single nickel, dime, penny I have into the, um... The, the laboratory and take money out of everywhere else because we're not really using the factory right now. Alright, so 
We're about to make our first operating system. Let's go ahead. CLI Research op code system. Empty. This thing is terrible. What was the other thing I researched? Because I think that might be better. The CLI? That's a lot better. All right. Um, it's still terrible, but it's better. I get it. My research queue is empty. Would you please shut up? Look, you want to research something? Research this. All right. Research. I don't know. What's something cheap to research? Your research queue is empty. Yo, if you don't shut up, bro. There. I freaking research the joystick, fax, gun controller, and a built-in speaker. Are you happy now? Have fun with that. Let's go with a CLI or opcode. I think CLI was better, right? 51%, 64%. So yeah, CLI was better and cheaper? Wait a second. Oh no, that, that was slightly cheaper. Who cares? We're rich. All right. Department budget. Let's raise that a bit. All the way up. Actually, not a bit. We also have uh, something for storage, which I guess doesn't really affect anything. So sure, we'll create that. We also need to create a CPU. We have a 440 CPU passive cooling and a, VF, a VLSI. For those of you that actually know about computers, they're probably cringing right now because I have no idea what any of these are if they're actually real thing. All right, so the 440 is definitely the best one, but it costs $133,000 up front. And performance doesn't really matter to us because we're focusing on ease of use. So... Oh wait, I can select multiples of these and put them all together. That's why it costs so much. All right, so that is nothing. That does nothing. Passive cooling does a little bit. Costs eleven thousand dollars. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll go with that. So now we have storage, an operating system. We need a circuit, and can we use all of these here too? We can, but that wouldn't really change anything, I guess. Yeah, that that, that still makes the quality horrible. But again, who cares? Who cares? No one cares about that here. Everyone cares about ease of use. Add two buttons. Call and hang up. Why is this so expensive? Wait a second. What's really cheap right now? VLSI. That's pretty cheap. Sure, why not? We'll go with that. Can I just make something without anything? Nope. All right. Passive cool limit is. And for the display, we have to. We only have one option for the display, so we'll go with that. And then new. We're at $2.7 million. Oh my gosh. We are going broke fast. All right. So I think we have everything I need to actually make a computer. Let's go ahead. New computer, home computer, memory, and uh, CPU. Don't I already have these? Why do I need to choose a design for these? So we have an issue here, guys. I spent a bunch of money doing these, but apparently I can't use any of them to make a computer. What What do you mean? What do you mean? What was the point of making all this if I can't use it? Um, I'm tilted. I just wasted a bunch of money doing these, and I can't even use it to make a computer. Are you kidding me? All right, I think I found out how to do it. Hopefully. Uh, storage, we'll add that. Operating system. Alright, I think I... Alright, alright, we're good now. Here we go, add that to the computer. Power supply, we have that, there it is. Ooh, we're starting to make our first computer. Memory. We should have some memory somewhere, right? No? No memory? Well then, no, no memory it is. PU, add that to the computer. And then, the display... We should have one, yeah, right, right there it is. Alright, so. We can add accessories and stuff, like fax, joystick. What makes it easier to use? Alright, we don't need any of this if it doesn't make it easier. Keyboard. There we go. So it recommends that we sell the price at $849. We finally made our first piece of hardware, and $849 is the price. Alright. Let's create a prototype, see how that goes. A mandatory red element is missing from your computer. What's missing? Oh, memory. Dang it, I didn't actually make that. Alright, there we go. Memory is done. We're good? We're good. Okay, solid. So, create prototype. We only have $1.6 million. If this does not make us at least $6 million, we're broke. We're done. We're out of business. That's it. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. We can market it. That can help. But I don't think it's going to help that much. Wait, where's the input? Where's the keyboard? The thing I said to put there is not there. Your new computer model is polished. <laughs> Why did it say like that? Your new computer model is polished. Alright, so that's done. You can set the commercial price. I'm going to set it for... Oh, sorry. It recommends 860. So I'm going to say... 860. Can I please enter the text? 8. Your research Hello. Queue is empty. Your new computer I can't model. enter text. It won't let me enter the text. Oh, there we go. It wouldn't let me enter anything. 
All right, 860. Okay. Is that... Did I do it right? Is it going to charge like 860 cents? Hopefully, hopefully not, because then this thing isn't that responsive, huh? 800... Eights? Eights. That's an eight. Your research queue is empty. No, I don't want to sell it for eight hundred and eighty-eight dollars. What do you not understand? Your new computer model is Yo, alright. Pause the game real quick. Maybe it's because too many things are happening. I can't even pause the game. Can't even pause the game. I am going broke. Cancel. Pause Your the game. Pause. We're good? Solid. Alright, so it's because Nope, nope, it still does it. Alright, eight, six. I gotta be fast with this. Your new computer Not fast enough. Polished. There we go. 860. That's it. I can't do anything anymore. That's it. That's all I got for it. All right, so we can now market it. Let's go ahead and market it. We sold 6... 11... Your research billboard. queue is empty. 22. All right, so we're making some money. It's not a lot of money. 27 sold? Can we, uh... Can we market this? Advertise the ease of use in Ukraine. And... And, God, I, I can't, you can't really t Forget it. No, it has no name. It's just great. It's just a great computer. There we go. We're selling a decent amount, but, like, it's too... Ex can we lower the price a little bit? Maybe if we lower it to, like, 500... Not $5, bro. This isn't a bag of chips you get from the gas station next door. 500 There. Will more start to sell? I'm losing so much money off of this, and I don't, I don't know what to do. Like it has solid ease of use, but we don't have enough. We don't have enough money to continue. Like I have to make a big hit out the gate, or I'm broke. I've been playing this game for 40 minutes. It's a great game. I like it. I might learn how to play it a little bit better because right now I suck. I am trash. So maybe next episode I start over, see what happens. All I know is that this was a horrible decision. Apparently, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. If you guys have any tips for me, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video off here. So yeah, comment, like, and subscribe for more Computer Tycoon videos, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.